Hey, this is Deborah Brooks. We're going to talk today about causative verbs. Causative means you cause someone else to do something. You don't do the action yourself. You have someone else do it, or someone makes you do it. He made me cry. She asked me to clean my room. I paid him to fix my car. So in each of these, the second person is the one who actually does it. I'm the one who cries. I'm the one who cleaned my room. And he's the one who fixed my car. The structure is person, verb, person, verb. So we have the first person is the one who is forcing you to do it. And the second person is the one who actually does it. One person is in subject form, gets another person in object form to do the action. So he made me scrub. He is in subject form, me in object form, even, even though I'm the one who's actually doing it. I hire him to paint my house. I pay for it, but he does the painting. The teacher told us to study. The teacher told, the teacher gave instructions, but we did the studying. So one person causes another person to do something. Person, verb, person, verb. There are a couple of different basic meanings here. One is the um, have and get, with, which mean, I ask you to do it, but there's not a big there's not a big deal. There's no issue. I'm not forcing. I ask you to do it, and you do it. No problem. I'll have my husband pick up the pizza. He's not going to argue. I ask. He'll do it. No big deal. She got her son to make the call. She asked him to do it. He did it. No problem. No big argument. Have plus base form. Get plus infinitive. I'll has, have my husband pick up the pizza. She got her son to make the call. Let and allow both mean that the actor really wants to do it. The, the causer is allowing that to happen, but the actor really wants to do the action. My dad let me go to the party. I want to go to the party. The teacher allows us to use our cell phones. We want to use our cell phones. The third one is the force. The actor doesn't want to do it. Make with base form, force with infinitive. The actor doesn't want to do it. My mother made me clean my room. I don't want to clean my room. The boss forces us to stay late. We don't want to stay late. So have, let, make, plus base form, get, allow, force, plus infinitive, have the same meaning. It's two different structures, but they really have the same meaning. Most causative verbs are followed by the infinitive. There are a few that are followed by base form. We just introduced those, let, make, and have. Let, make, and have are followed by the base form. Let me go. Make me do it. Have her pick it up. Causative verb help can have either one. So you can help me do this or help me to do this. All the other causative verbs take infinitives. Get, allow, force, ask, tell, hire, pay, convince, and there are many others. Ask him to stay, tell her to pick them up, hire them to do it. Causative verbs cause another action to happen. My mom made me clean my room. The verb made tells that your mom causes the clean to be done by you. She makes it happen. You do it. It's causative because she causes it. So again, have, make, and let are followed by the base form where 
allow, force, require, convince, tell, are followed by the infinitive. I'll have him pick you up. I'll, I make her clean her room. Let me go. Allow me to help. I require you to do it. I tell you to finish your work. I get him to pay for the show. But any, any infinitives. The passive means you don't say who did it. Now in causative, you have two people. So either one of the people can be ignored or deleted. In passive causative, one of the people involved is not identified. Maybe the person who causes the action is identified, but the one who actually does it isn't. There are several choices. The form it, if you identify the causer but not the doer, then I get my hair cut. You have get or have. We got the car fixed. She had her stove repaired. He has had his appointment changed. So he caused this to happen. He didn't do it. He, I didn't cut my own hair. I didn't fix the car. She didn't repair her own stove. She got somebody else to do that. So it is causative, but we don't say who did it. Sometimes let and allow, having the same meaning, can be used in a passive form. He let it be painted, we allowed her to be fired. Those are passive. We don't say who painted it and we don't say who fired her. Sometimes it's the person who causes it that's not identified. So the causal verb is the one in passive voice. I was told to take out the trash. I don't say who told me. We weren't allowed to leave early. I don't say who allowed it or not. The workers were made to work in a dangerous environment. I don't say who made that rule. So if I want to do it, I'm asking for permission. I'll say, Dad, let me go to the party. I wanted to go. Dad allowed me to go to the party. Let me go, base form. Allowed me to go, infinitive, mean the same thing. In passive, I was allowed to go to the party. If I don't want to, I have to be forced to do it. Mom made me clean my room. Mom forced me to clean my room. Make plus base form, force plus, plus infinitive. Mom made me clean. Mom forced me to clean my room. In passive, I was made to clean my room. I was forced to clean my room, both with infinitive in the passive. Neutral, they'll do it if you ask, no problem. I'll have her leave it at your office tomorrow. Sure, we can get her to finish that by Friday. Have plus base form, get plus infinitive mean basically the same thing. I'll have it left at your office tomorrow. Sure, we can get that done by Friday. Those are passive. I don't say who's going to do it. I, I'm causing it, but I'm not saying who's actually doing the action.